Okay, back again. Righty ho. So, uh, last video, we looked at the client brief um, and um, there's some questions that you would like to probably ask for a simple project. Um, you know, how to work out the budget. So, if they say they've got a, they want a 250 they want a 250 square meter house or whatever, and they have to say they've only got a budget of 300,000, then you're going to tell them, I don't think you're going to be able to get, build it, you know, for that price. Okay. Um, and this in red is the, um, the brief that we've sort of responded to. Now, I'm just going to, this video now is about le setting up level markers. Okay, but first things first, I'm just going to move out of this site area and I'm going to copy this set of text. I'm just going to go click on that. I'm going to go control C, copy to clipboard. And I'm going to go into my ground floor plan here. And I'm just going to go control V and um, left click to drop that in place. Because I'll probably do a lot of my work from here, the ground floor plan. So, um, yeah, good idea to probably be in here. So the idea is that we are now working on setting up those level markers. Okay, right, now, this little link here, okay, um, tiny URL, da -da -da, that is for the custom level head, okay, that I'm going to go about to work on in this project, okay. So you can go to um, that little URL and grab that file from um, Mediafire, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the south elevation, um, for some reason it's an elevation I like working from um, and this is it. Now you can see very clearly here that we have our topo surface our to or topography that is what we created earlier from the imported CAD file, DWG file. Okay so and as you can remember if I go to my ground floor plan okay four meters five 4.8, so we're, we're above zero, so I'm going to come back down to my south elevation. So naturally we expect that to be up. Okay, and now we have our levels all in the wrong place. Now I'm not worried about where the levels are, what I'm worried about and we get frustrated with are these level markers, the text. Okay, now if I measure that, if I just use my little measuring tool, you know, look at that. Um, it's coming in at 3.2, 3 millimeter high text. It's pretty bulky, and I don't think it actually, you know, doesn't give us an awful lot of text to write in here. And the other big thing as well, it says 4,000, okay? When we're doing building design, because we go back to our survey, the surveyor when they're talking in elevation, they're talking in meters. So they're saying 4.00 meters. Yeah, Revit is defaulting to millimeters because when we do all our other plans, we do everything in, in millimeters, except when it comes to elevation. It's a bit of a glitch in the system, but it is better to work with whatever mat what we, we need to match what's in the survey, and the survey is always going to be in meters. Okay. Now um, the way to do this is that we need to get a new level head. So within this level, there's there's a few components, but one of them in here is the 8mm head. So now if I click on this again, sorry. Now if I want to go edit type and click on that and expand the type properties, okay, you'll see here the symbol. So this is the name of it. It's the 8mm here. I don't know where the 8mm comes from. Okay. But the symbol, that's this thing here. That's the symbol. Okay. And at the moment, it says level head triangle AUS type 1. If I click on that, there's a little drop-down arrow, but there's no other option for us. Okay. So this is what, what we need to do to give ourselves a better level head. So I'm just going to cancel out of there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Insert. Okay, so I'm going to go to my ribbon. I'm going to go up to one, two, three. Here's my insert tab. I click on that, left click. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to load a family. Now, by default, uh, you'll probably get this window here, which is the um, 
depending on what country you're you're in, but you'll get your you should get your country's um, default library. Now I've got to do a quick surf through here. Um, through my OneDrive, there's my YouTube, there's my families. Okay, and there it is there. That's the level head YouTube that I've created. Now, you'll obviously have this saved in a different location after you've downloaded it from that media file link. So, but what I'm going to do here is, so I'm just going to grab that level head YouTube and I'm just going to go open. And it looks like nothing happened. So all it was, the keyword here is load. All we did was load the family into our project. But now, if I click on my level head here, I'm going to keep it as 8mm for now. I'm now going to go edit type. Go back to the same place we were before the symbol. Click on that. Look at the drop down arrow. And voila, there it is. Our level head uh, YouTube. Left click on that. And I go apply and you watch what happens to that. All changed. So you'll see that with the one that I've created is that mark is a little bit smaller, the text is smaller, and the elevation is now measuring in meters. Okay, 4.00 meters, which ties in with the, um, the survey information. So we've got some correlation here. The other thing I could probably do here is I can probably just go rename this level here because I'm not going to use it for... Um, 